Welcome, everybody. Bacon is my podcast. We are yes. here with What's Your Bacon in Seven Questions. Bing, bing. We have scoured, scoured the earth. Yes. To find these seven questions that will allow our guests, our guests today. Right now, we have RJ and Nick from yeah. the band Hugh. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there we go. New song Home is out now. You got to check it out. Um, we'll get into like genre blending. It's and awesome. Everything they do, it's, it's so awesome. Good. But but before we even do that, these questions are going to get you to know these fellas, feel these fellas, plumb the depths of the insides of these fellas. And we are also joined. What's up, Wait, Ali? <laughs> What's up, Ali? We're about to figure out the 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 double stuff in your Oreo, my friend. Oh, the, uh, the 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 nooks and crannies of your muffin. We're gonna we're gonna go spelunking into your heart piece. Oh man! Are right. you guys ready for what's your bacon and wow. seven questions? Let's get it. <laughs> All right. So before we start, I just want everybody just uh, introduce yourself and say what you do in the band, just so that anybody that's listening, just to the audio portion of this, kind of puts a voice to a name. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm Nick. I play guitar and sing and scream and stuff. I'm RJ. Uh, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I'm RJ. I play drums. I'm, uh, I'm Ali. I sing and play bass and uh, do other stuff. I write stuff, you know. Nice. All nice. Yeah, we all write stuff, but yeah. Yeah. Nice. We all write stuff. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We're, we're definitely gonna we're definitely gonna get into the um because I'm super curious about your guys' writing method just because of how many how many kind of turns that your that the song takes. Uh, I've only heard the one song. Yeah. I want to hear more. I want to hear a lot more. Um, everybody that is listening, go listen to Home. It came out just the first. It came yeah. out just a week ago. Uh, definitely check that out and save it share it with all your friends yes and uh and here we go we're gonna get to know these fellas yeah these fine fellas uh are you ready for question number one yeah man let's go yeah that's right there question number go. one how many pillows is too many Shit. yeah on oh, my bed currently one. there's there's four pillows same because <laughs> i'm really cuddly i like the cuddles so I nice. hold the okay. body pillow, but yeah, I guess I guess five is enough for me. If you yes, body pillow, pillow. six is too much. Six is yeah. too much. Six is egregious. Fun fact: paraplegics need five. I learned yes. that online, so six would be too much. Oh wow! You know, <laughs> six, six is too much because it's like it's gonna crowd up the bed. Like, yeah, like if you have if you have someone in the bed with you, like it's gonna really crowd up the bed. So. Yeah, yeah no, you could always use it as a crash pad, though. Yeah, landing pads on the side, just in case. Yeah, <laughs> true. Safety first, yeah. just in case. Yeah, true. Yeah. I mean, I currently yeah, have four on my bed as well, so I guess we'll say like, uh, yeah, yeah. Five, okay. Much, I guess. Yeah. Five. Well, I also like how RJ said four, but held up eight. I got. I, was like, I got a little oh, worried yeah, there. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like, is he gonna go for? Is this guy? <laughs> I thought he was gonna say like. I have eight currently. It's oh, like, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I can fit eight pillows on my bed without me. <laughs> but hey, listen, different strokes for different folks, right? Hey man, that bed is a big pillow. That counts as one. The, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, All right, guys. Question, right? Yeah. All right, guys. Question number two. What is the perfect pizza order? Um, oh, don't ask me. Wait, what? I'm I'm gonna order I'm gonna order just keep it keep it straight up extra cheese pepperoni and mushrooms. That's all I need, yeah. really. I feel that. Dig it. Yeah, bro. Good, Nick. You gotta go first, bro. I mean, I'm I guess like I don't know. Like uh, I'm really into like I do like chicken jalapeno mushrooms. Oh, that's good too. Uh, I could just go for like a straight up veggie slice, no olives. That'd be sick. You know how it's like you know. Fresh vegetables, and, yeah, definitely been known to get down on a veggie slice. No olives for you, though. Yeah, no, nah, it's just too, it's too sharp in the like. It's you know, <laughs> salty grapes, <laughs> man, salty grapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, could, I just, I don't know, I just never could really get with them. I could do like, so. like regular canned black olives. Those are okay because they don't like they don't 
slice yeah, through everything. Like the, green right. ones. the green ones are like, nah, just put them alone. <laughs> so that's all you taste. Wow. Yeah. That's why they stuff them with blue cheese, because there's no other flavor that can compete with them. You still can't. Like, they can take over everything. Still can't. Oh, yeah. Right. Ali, how about you, bro? Um, so that's funny because olives are like fire by themselves, but yeah, not with stuff. But um, right. nah, Ali, was- Ali is funny because we were just all together and he like had a, a ridiculous pizza order. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm like, I'm more on the dairy free cheese type world, you know. <laughs> so my life is always complicated with pizza unless they're just ready for that. I've right. had crazy stuff, but I think like my favorite pizza is like super fancy it's on some like like okay spinach basil uh roasted red peppers mushrooms uh truffle oil a little bit truffle oh oil. yeah there you go there's the fancy like the seasonings right. you know what i'm saying <laughs> like uh i'm not big gluten-free bread thing like unless it's like really fire but you know um and yeah man like i think i think that's it like i feel like i just try to like keep it simple but fancy you know <laughs> yeah. There's there's a place here. <laughs> a little bougie, by the way, a little simple. Ali, there's yeah. a place here that does day of cheese on their pizza. Oh, wow. See, but it, see that's it. what I'm saying. I'm, I'm I'm like not a big diet fan. Like diet is cool. Oh no, it's, it's not like diet. Cool. It's not no, diet. I mean, diet. Daya. Yeah, Daya, yeah. Daya, 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 like the name of uh, like, yeah. Daya, yeah. whatever the yeah. the uh, cheese brand. Yeah. Because I, I, I do a little bit of that. That I think you're saying the same thing in a different way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where are y'all from? <laughs> New York. Or New York. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Six. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he also says well, everything. It matters. I, yeah, I'm an idiot. It could be. <laughs> y'all are <Yeah>. hilarious. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Y'all are not far at all. Like, I used yeah. to, I go up there to find clothes. So, like. We, uh, we'll, be, we'll be in your area in uh, August. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so we'll we'll nope. hit you up. We'll yeah, definitely hit you yeah, up. Like a show sure. or something, y'all come out. It's Man, just, oh, yeah. just let me know when you're here, and I'll take you to a go go, and then like you'll see <laughs> the, like the culture in one night. Fantastic. I'm in. Let's do it. Sign me up. Yeah. We'll bring you up. We'll bring you up here and book a show. Yeah, same yeah. here. Be sick. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Yeah. Work. All right. Question number three. True or false? Question this time. Cereal is a soup. False. Is a soup, bro. False, False. bro. False. False. All right. False. All all around. All All three. three. I think this is the first time we've actually had a whole band agree on. United. Yeah. Yeah. United front. Usually causes (laughs) causes turmoil. Yeah. Sometimes. I mean, we've had bands break up for this. I'm I'm gonna. I'm (laughs) just gonna say I'm not gonna battle anybody because I have no allegiance. But I will say, uh, as a uh, devil's advocate. Mm. Cream-based broth, wheat or rice-based noodle, cold soups are a thing. I, I was going to say the, the cold thing, but then I was like, yeah, there are cold soups, but no. I feel like it would still teeter more towards like a stew than a soup, though. Soup is usually liquid and stew is like, you know, like chunks of something. Yeah, but, but I'm, not like I'm just going to call it cereal with noodle. I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking no, because normally with soup, the flavors meld together. Like you can't meld together cereal. Like it just gets soggy. I mean, have you ever had cereal that turns to milk chocolate? I have. <laughs> hey, Amen. <laughs> ever ever had golden grams and then you have delicious cinnamon milk at the end? Yeah, like cinnamon toast crunch. crunch. Yeah, cinnamon like, toast. Okay. Crunch. Yeah. Cocoa that is a that is a yeah, melding of greatness. Yeah. I feel like the re- end result is the soup. Like the cereal milk could be a soup, I guess. So that means melting like together. I guess, yeah. He's we're turning. We're flipping, flipping people. people. <laughs> flipping people. <laughs> saying, this is like battle rap. <laughs> so that means, I mean, like, oh, we got you. That means, that means <laughs> melted uh, ice cream becomes soup? Mm-hmm. Technically, I guess it could sure. be. Especially if it's a night, like if you if you let your, uh, if you get something from Cold Stone, it's got a bunch of your stuff in it, and then you let that melt, oh, now yeah. you have a liquid oh, ingredient. Yeah, is... Look at this yeah, bougie motherfucker over here in Cold Stone. I'm just trying to think of ice cream with stuff in it, man. I haven't been a cold stone. Swear man. jar. By the way. You can spend twenty dollars on ice cream for yourself. <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh man. serving. All right, All right, boys. Question number four: Gift cards, lame gift idea or great gift idea? 
Wait, say it one more time. Gift cards. Lame gift idea or great uh, gift idea? That's, that's lame. It takes no effort. There's no there's no unless I mean it depends. Like if it's like to a place that you know someone is like gonna go like super crazy. Like, I don't know. I mean I know like sometimes like oh like you get a girl like a Sephora gift card that's probably not that well thought out, but like might be appreciated or something like that. But I like I don't know. Like if you gave like a kid a Lego gift card for the birthday, it's like we can go to the Lego store, you can pop tags, like <laughs> you know, that'd be sick. Yeah. All right. That's like, like I think thinking for myself, like if somebody were to give me like a guitar center gift card, like no, like ask me what size sticks I play and go buy them shits. Yeah, something like, like that. that would yeah. be more. Like take it a step further, yeah. That's that's yeah. see, that's interesting because we like you know, we kind of play that in this question as well, because it's like, do you really want someone else picking out your strap? Right. And and for a drummer to say that, like, hmm. Because I know, I know, drummers I, uh, get very that particular. That ruins the big, stuff, the big you know? surprise. It ruins the reveal. Right. Like said, yeah, I, I fuck with gift cards I, I, because I was raised on like when holidays come, like people in my family would never know what to get me, so they would just give me money. Right. And I'm just so used to that that I'm like, look, I'm with the gift card life. You know, what I'm saying, give me an Apple gift card. Let me get a MacBook. Like, look, man. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, sick. Put give it me a something. gift card. I'm with it. Give me the cash. Yeah. I'll put something out there again. I'm devil's advocate. I'll put it out there again. You guys are going to go on tour. Your fans want to get you gifts. Gas cards? Wawa cards? That'd be sick. I mean, yeah, that's, that's that, that works. That that's, is actually yeah, correct. That's actually, yeah, that's next level. The gas yeah. card. I'm like, do yeah, people do that? One. That's like a very thoughtful Yeah, thing. People do that. Like, and it's, and once it's upon a best. time... Once upon a time when I was on tour with another band, we had a deal with Taco Bell, and we had like a gazillion Taco Bell gift cards. Yeah, what was that? Uh, yeah. Rock the Bell or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that program they had. Yeah. And it was great because it was like only two of us on the bus ate Taco Bell. So, like, it was Taco oh, Bell. That's, that's a win. That's wild. <laughs> y'all, y'all had it back in the day when they had the empanadas, too, bro. Mm, and, yeah. and, and see, what concerns me is there was two of you on in, in a car together that ate copious amounts of Taco Bell. How many yeah. bathrooms were were available? <laughs> it, makes it, yeah. it makes it rough. It was um, we were riding around in um, what do you call them shits? Van wagons. What do you call them? Yeah, yeah, called, yeah right. Oh, yeah. Like it's the whole thing. Right. On there, but you know, you're not you're not supposed to poop on it. So no, you don't. Yeah, don't poop on the bus. Yeah, that that's <laughs> rule number that's one. It's for business only. No pleasure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay. Uh, question number five. What number is Mike thinking of? I would have got this if it was like a number between one and something. You could still get one and infinity. Any number oh, six. 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 36. Wrong. Six. Wrong. Oh, you get a third guess? <laughs> 42069. Wrong. Uh, question number seven, uh, six. What is your go to <laughs> jukebox pick? Oh wow! Actually, I pick I play Kanye every time. What is it? I'm playing Con- Kanye. Kanye. Uh, probably, probably all falls down or through the wire. Like old, old Kanye. That's where I'm at. Okay. Every time. So, Before he went crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but he kind of crazy. It was just before he got super wild. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. You could have just told him, bro. Before he started talking crazy. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. Before, before he let everybody else know. Like that. Right. Yeah. 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 Nick, what about you? Uh, yeah. So my grandfather actually has like a jukebox, and like Sex. there's a lot of songs on it, and like like a lot of older songs that are like from before I was born and stuff. But like one song that tends to always get played whenever we're like around and like cut it on is "Beat It." <laughs> yeah, yeah it's a classic. And it's like said, it coming out of the jukebox sounds ridiculous. Dope. <laughs> yeah, you get that feeling. You have a jukebox. The lights come on, and you hear like, bam, bam. Yeah, and like all the <laughs> yes. and like waiting for the record to pull and play. And yeah, it's like, it's like that's awesome. Of... That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen a like a, a, a like a real jukebox with records in it in a very long time. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Like, yeah, those that's... are those are those are badass. Those mm-hmm. are tight. Yeah. I was. I yeah, was, I was actually say, like, 
what era do I pick? Like, is it any era jukebox? Like, this is just any like, era, like, man. You set the scene. You walk into a place, right? Yeah, you walk into a place. You don't know anybody there. Digital. What are you playing? Shit. If I don't know anybody there and I walk into a place, what am I playing? And it's anything on it, too? Anything, anything. on it. Bag lady. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Erica Badu. Oh, yes, 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 okay. yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. Okay. I'm playing bag ladies. Mm -hmm. If I go no. anywhere and then no and I don't and I don't know the room, I can't feel out who's in what. Right. I'm playing bag lady. It's a safe song. It's gonna be crank every time. Now what if you go in and you do know everybody? Do you if do I you do like do you check the vibe? Do you check the vibe in the room and try and keep it going? Or do you check the vibe in the room and just try and destroy it? No, I, I'm a very, like, I, I try to go with the flow like a DJ type of person. Like, I don't be trying to switch yeah. it up too hard. That. Like, if I, because if I switch up too hard, it's going to be, like, too random. Like, like one night I was just playing, like, Backstabbers by the OJs, like, on repeat. <laughs> Nothing wrong. <laughs> like, just Nothing driving wrong. for an yeah, hour. Yeah, sometimes it gets like that. <laughs> like, you just <laughs> blasting it like it's brand new. Just that one song. <laughs> that one song yep, over one and song, over and over yep, again. Repeat. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes it just you like that, man. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Nah, I did that. I did that in the car for for road trips. It's like Funk Forty Nine from James Gang. Yeah. Okay. It's constant. Just <laughs> over and over. Sometimes again. you just need it, man. Oh, <laughs> Hell yeah. Right. Well, here we are. We've made it. We've made it to the seventh question. We have of Doom. Uh, uh, Doom. Well, okay. But it may not be over for these boys. Because depending on how they answer this, you could qualify for a bonus question. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, we should we should have that like lock. I think in. it's better when when the guests. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. I agree. Not <laughs> enough. Not enough people do. Yes. When they when right. they do, it's kind of like, all right, this is good. This is a yeah. good time. I'm having a good time. <laughs> so all we're saying is, is that, uh, you know, you could qualify for the bonus question. That's if you true. don't, it'd be weird. It'd be weird because be weird. out of uh, close to 300 of these, um, nobody has not gotten the bonus question. Yeah, you'd be the first. You'd be the first. Be so, the first. so no oh, pressure. Man. Special moment. But also, don't mess this up. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. This one, I want you to think hard about it, though. I want you to I want you to massage the heart a little bit. All those little pieces of you that that have died off as you got older and jaded and bitter. Wow. Shake that off. Get back to that childlike wonderment. There you go. And let us know. How do you feel about garden gnomes? Hmm. Mm. Okay, so we talking about the traditional, or we talking about like you know how there's different types, like you know you got the swan type joke, and then no, you like have gnomes, like the actual like, garden gnomes. You know, no, I'm gonna you go know, with traditional like gnomes. I'm gonna go with like, yeah, yeah. Gnomes, yeah. gnomes specifically. But okay, but little bearded dude, you know, like the isn't that like the logo you, for like travelocity or something? Somebody it is. Uses a yes. gnome for a the roaming, the roaming gnome. See there? Yeah. You see, you see there? <laughs> see. <laughs> so they've so they've made an impact. Yeah. Yeah, they have <laughs> the legacy of the gnome. <laughs> so I, I Hilarious. No, so like I, I'm not like I'm. I'm a plain guy. You know what I'm saying? Like I definitely like just the garden by itself. Like I don't know if that's just like me being boring or what, but it's like if I had a <laughs> job right now and I had a gigantic garden, I would just want my plants to be so big that I wouldn't be able to see nothing else. So like literally. Not really, I don't really, I don't, I'm not a big garden gnome fan just because, like, I never really saw, like, you know, that's a necessity. That's gotta, be, that's gotta be how you get the question wrong. Like, that has to be the only way. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I, I, I mean, the, the point, the point is, like, <laughs> my life, my life is like, you know, um, it's hilarious. So, like, I also probably had garden gnome nightmares in my youth. Who knows? Okay, but uh, yeah, steeped in. I don't steeped know. In, uh, We've had people on times. the show that have been affected by them in their. Oh yeah, in their upbringing. We've gotten no thank you. We've got. We've also gotten no thank you <laughs> as just a straight answer. 
Okay. Does anybody know like the actual purpose of a garden gnome? Is it to like scare away birds or something? To like, uh, is there protect, a, a actual... protect your garden from uh, from yeah. near dwells. And, um... Okay, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. I feel like I was never personally like creeped out by garden gnomes until like I just like saw that apparently that was a thing that creep people out a little bit. I think there was like an episode of King of the Hill where there was like a garden gnome thing. Right, right. Oh right. yeah, it was kind of my like first time where I was like, people are weirded out by this. I guess. And, it was kind of like a. I thought like there was a point in time where it was Probably, just like, yeah. gnomes are creepy," and I was like, "I mean, kinda, but like, depends on the gnome." But like, yeah, I, I feel like I also, if I had like a super <laughs> huge garden, I would have other stuff that would probably not be a garden gnome. Yeah. Okay. Well, now more, you like, can get all kinds of cool ones, that. like like Ali was saying, like they they got the new ones that are cool. You can get like yeah, you can do like a po- I would get one with like sunglasses, like doing a pose or something like that. Be right. Probably, yeah. yeah. Like something to just like lighten it up a little bit to make it like okay, clearly this is not creepy. This Drunk is, face yeah. down. I got, I got, I, die, die, I, got I got the answer that's gonna win the game, guys. Don't worry. For I got it. <laughs> All right. I got it. Hit us. I want garden gnomes, but only if they're on sale. Ooh. Also good. Also good. Well, sale garden. Is that a gnomes. riddle? <laughs> Well, <laughs> you said it wrong, which is fine. RJ's thrifty. Like, great. Talk about coupons. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? Yeah. Oh, Eight pillows. <laughs> <laughs> but matter of fact, I want my garter gnome. I want my garter gnome like this. Like, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. There you go. All right. Well, I well, mean, see, RJ. Eight garden gnomes would be too many. That would be too many, according to <laughs> the scale. Yeah. yeah, we have a we have a theory on this. Uh, one to one to one to three, three. one to three, acceptable, you know. But you got a story. Yeah, you got a story. If you got like three garden gnomes in here, you probably someone that's like you've lived a little. Yeah, you got some things you can talk about. <laughs> I feel that you get like that. That four like, to seven. Four to seven. If you go in the house, just know where the exits are. Pay attention a little bit. Yeah. Maybe maybe <laughs> unlock maybe unlock a window when you yeah. go in when they're not looking. Just important safety tip. Give myself a way out. Yeah, don't drink uh, anything. Eight and on. Yeah, don't seven, don't drink seven anything. and above. Yeah. Seven and above. That is uh they represent the souls of bodies that are buried in that yard. Oh man. Mm. That is a Gacy porch. <laughs> or the basement. Or the basement. Yeah. 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 They're, they're actually headstones. That's how you But guaranteed right. there's a set of keys to the house under one of them. Right. Well they have guaranteed. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm going to say this. Based on your answers, I'm going to say that RJ is the only one who didn't qualify. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm totally no. kidding. You guys absolutely get the bonus <laughs> question. <laughs> All right, we came through. And the bonus question is this. It's a, bu- it's, it's a multiple choice. Mm. Okay? So the answer is somewhere. Yes. And it goes a little something like this. Bacon. Is it a topping? Is it a side? Is it a main course? I had a BLT no... this morning. <laughs> is this a, a side of topping or a main yeah, course? I, I had a BLT on sourdough. It was definitely the main oh, item. Oh, sourdough. Too. There you go. I've definitely, go. like, I've definitely, because, okay, let's see. I don't know. I feel like there's, like, an all of the above kind of thing. Yeah, but there's the no. <laughs> You know, like I'm. Yeah, you do, you know, Nick. I've had my fair share of like, okay, this is a bacon sandwich, like straight up bacon on bread, or like, you know, okay, mm-hmm. bacon bits like as a garnish, or like, you know, what I'm saying paired with breakfast or something like that, to where it's like, okay, like depends on <laughs> depends on how you're feeling that day. Like if you're super, right, bacon, right. sure. Then, I mean, hey, make the whole pack of bacon. All right, all right, <laughs> Nick. I like that answer. RJ, where, where are you at on this? Well, All it was right, definitely so, the main of his sandwich. Yeah, but but yeah, he, but, I, I had a, we've I had a burger too on Saturday like this morning with cheese. Mm-hmm. It was delicious. It was cut diagonally, really good. As it should be. That's, That's just yeah, yeah. Because that like changes the flavor of your sandwich, like diagonally, like straight up. Well, and it gives you a, an entry point too. Like what kind? And it of also makes path? more sandwich. Yeah, like yeah. there's literally just more of it. Yeah. Like if you just cut it in half regularly, it's you're science. Kind of, like it right. just gives you two. You still have flat sides to throw in your face. Right. Yeah. yeah. You need a corner. It's you science. need a point of entry. 
it's fine. Um, now I'm one of those type of people where I'm like, I don't want like bacon geeking where it shouldn't be. Like you know when you like order something, like, like oh, Caesars did the we bacon put, we, pizza. <laughs> we put bacon on this thing to like bump it up. I'm like, dog, it had no business being over there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> or like you know, people like try to like upscale it, like candy bacon and stuff like that. Like, nah, right, bro, right. just keep it like like it is. So for that point though, I'll say it is like a main item that shouldn't be mixed with other main like eggs and bacon, like that's a thing. Like it's America. But like I don't want like don't give me no damn bacon ice cream sundae or something like that. Like that's <laughs> okay. yeah, there are yeah, yeah, there is a limit. Like candy yeah. bacon even is like okay, like Sparingly, just over I guess it. I haven't really gotten down with that too too much, but like, like people <laughs> people don't give sausage that kind of treatment. They just give sausage they're supposed to be. Well, let's be so, honest. Between sausage and bacon, yeah, which one are you picking? Far more versatile and superior. Sausage yeah. is good. Yeah, yeah. There's a time and a place, but it's bacon. I only you can really do sausage more, like bacon. I'm speaking from experience here. Bacon definitely has been. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so RJ's going main. Ali, yeah. where, where are you at on this? I feel like I mean I can't do all of the above. So bacon it, to me is a side. Wait, why well, can't well, you? There. There's no there's there's no rules here. If you, <laughs> you do, do. do we look like yeah, real people? No rules. <laughs> vegan, <but laughs> Wait, great. Okay, do we look like rule guys for sure. All the above well, for sure. Because it's like you know bacon is one of those things that yeah is. It can be a side. It's your breakfast side, but also, you know, depending on the meal, it changes its function. Yeah, you make bacon pancakes. You feel me? You could do just this classic breakfast sandwich where bacon is on there. It's some bacon like, and you put it in a pancake. Man. Yeah, man. I like it. Now so I hear the bacon pancakes. So two of you have definitely yeah. answered this correctly. Play all the Adventure Time songs. So that being said, Nick Ali, they used to be you, you have. Answered correctly, RJ. Two questions in a row. You answered incorrectly. What's going on, man? What's going on? What the heck? How could you? Look, I quit. Where you did you what? find this it's guy, guys? It's because you changed your light, man. It's because you changed your light. You came in with the best vibe, <laughs> and then you changed oh, yeah, your you light. You were like, second. Google, make you my lights Google. red. And then Google didn't listen to you. And then... <laughs> Nowhere to go but downhill. <laughs> no, but guys, thank you so much for uh, for. Joining the us. is all of the above, man. right? It is. It is all of the above, we're, and we're a we're a show about possibilities. Exactly. Exactly. So before we head out and do the full on episode, go ahead and tell everybody where they can check out everything, Hugh. Between now and then, uh, yeah, oh, it's, uh, we're we're everywhere on the internet at the same handle at Hugh Dad Band H U E D A T B A N D on everything. So if you use one thing or another or all of them were we're on there just to that band is that that is how you find us wherever you are looking yeah. and we talked about and that home, one song oh go ahead yeah yep. i would say home the lead single is out now on all dsps if you're having trouble finding it search hue h-u-e home featuring shooters abm um it's also on youtube and the full music videos on youtube so you can go there and enjoy that for a few minutes. It yeah. is on there, and it is awesome. Like the video, the vibe, the the feel of it is so fucking punk rock. It's so awesome. Like it's so oh, I love it. The energy is awesome. And uh, speaking of like that that repeat a song, that's the only song they've got on on uh, on the DSPs, right? Yeah. yeah. So, that's yeah. Our so that's it. So put it on repeat. Just keep. Keep throwing it on repeat. You need to over and over again because you're gonna like it. You're, you're gonna hear something different. Like on the on the fourth listen, you're gonna be like, "Oh man, yeah, I heard that shit." Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and you're hear you it all the time. Which come is what, back on which Monday. Is what good production is and what good music is. I think yeah, that's awesome. Um, if you, if you're anywhere in the uh, the DC, Maryland, or uh, Northern Virginia area, and these guys are playing a show, yeah. go see the show. Check them yeah. out. Bring them a gas card. They yeah. like to get yeah. stuff. Anything yes. else? <laughs> exactly. Ask what and kind of gas we want. Ask ask if we want Shell or Exxon to show that you care. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Got it. 
All right. That, I think that's going to work. Drummers are very particular. <laughs> that's, 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 it's always the drummer, I think, man. I think that's definitely the way to approach it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a mobile and a, and a shell card. Which one is better for you guys? <laughs> so, guys, uh, go ahead. Check them out, and always remember to ask yourself one important question. What yeah, the today? question for everybody listening right now, what is your thing that can be a, a main course or a side or a topping? What's the thing that makes your day a little bit better? What's the thing that takes the, uh, the stuff that's not so great and makes it a little bit greater so you can get through your day? For some, it's music. For some, it's movies, video games, whatever it happens to be. Remember to ask yourselves every day, what's your bacon?